So the crying is not even enough. You going there is not enough. You have to hysterically cry and mourn the death of leaders. Otherwise, not only your life is not guaranteed by your family, the three generations of your family also gonna be punished. North Korea's medical doctor salary is less than one dollar for a month. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amy Park and I'm a North Korean defector human rights activist. In the past, I have been talking about how North Korea is a complete different planet than the free countries that we are living in right now. And therefore, in this video today, I'm going to talk about the regular things illegal in North Korea, the things that we take for granted, that we think normal things, how they are banned, and how North Korean people are facing execution and imprisonment for the things that we do here. So number one is sarcasm. So sarcasm is banned in North Korea. If you be sarcastic, especially about the leader and the party, not only yourself going to be executed, the three generations of your family gonna be executed and sent to political prison camps with you. So when the Sony studio in America made a movie about Kim Jong-un, and that was a very sarcastic movie, it's killing assassin Kim Jong-un, the CIA agent goes to North Korea. Kim Jong-un got so angry that he threatened to do a terrorist attack. He hacked the Sony and really did everything he could to prevent this movie to come out. And in North Korea, there are watchers who are going around and looking at people if they are being sarcastic and what kind of jokes they are making and how they are even rolling their eyes. This kind of behavior is being reported to the regime and you get punished for those. This is how regime is paranoid and how people have zero freedom in any regard. Number two, mourning without meaning it. So I, this is a number one question also I get often from the people here when I came to America from North Korea. People saying, oh, I've been looking at those videos when Kim Jong-il or Kim Il-sung died. North Korean people are hysterically crying. And they look so different, they look so weird, and they look so crazy almost, right? Like, why does people look crying, mourning in that intensity? And this is like a really sad truth. When in North Korea, when Kim Jong-il died, there was like a hundred days of mourning period. And do you know if there are people who are laughing? If the officers he heard a sound of laughing, they get reported. And that family got disappeared, the entire family. In especially when my time when Kim Il Sung died, there are not single a sound of laughter could be going around in North Korea, and there nobody could drink, nobody can listen to music, and you have to mourn sincerely. You have to pour down your uh, tears. So in that, everybody forced to go to monuments and mourn, and there are officers and spies looking at who is not crying sincerely. So the crying is not even enough. You going there is not enough. You have to hysterically cry and mourn the death of leaders. Otherwise, not only your life is not guaranteed by your family, the three generations of your family also gonna be punished. That is why whenever you're looking at North Korean people in that morning time, they, they cry hysterically because they cry to survive. That is their desperate attempt to survive from that terror from the oppressive this Kim Jong Un's regime. I think that's why we should never judge North Koreans. You know, for them, they are clapping and crying to survive, and because their life depending on how sincerely they mourn at that moment when the leaders die. Number three. Jeans are banned. Uh, jeans are one of my favorite clothing. It's very comfortable. And North Korea hates America so much. They hate the Western sentiment so much that they ban the jeans. They tell the North Korean people, jeans are the symbol of a Western capitalist corrupt society. Therefore, North Koreans get punished if they wear jeans. There are some black market sell jeans you know, and if you buy a jeans, you have to wear at home and nobody's watching. And that's how, 
it breaks my heart in Rankin Roy not thinking about the clothes that I can wear every day North Korean people have to do it hiding inside the home and if somebody comes they have to take it off and like that jeans are a such a item that people there's no platform for people to express themselves including the fashion or makeup jewelry nothing that allows people to show their individuality everybody have to in the looking the same uniform because in North Korea what they are aiming is they do not want to accept any, any individuality you don't matter as, as an individual all that matters you are belong to a group and that's why they are really going after jeans and making sure that people get punished if they break this rule number four this is one something I've been talking about watching foreign films but more shockingly even singing a foreign music you get actually punished for that there was a woman who was officer she was singing some south korean song and a spy heard her and reported her she got sent to prison and beaten so much that she could not walk afterwards singing a mere song that is the song is not about dedicating worshiping dictators and the party that you get tortured you get imprisoned sometimes lifetimes and though if you watch wrong movies you even get executed and this is uh, the things that we take for granted here and North Koreans cannot even dream of number five owning a Bible or believing any other religion than Kim dictators is illegal so uh, in 2013 actually 80 people Kim Jong-un put the 80 people in a big stadium and then executed them all their crime was owning a Bible. In North Korea right now, estimated over around 200,000 to 400,000 Christians underground and more than 100,000 concentration camp in the people who are in the concentration camp because they own the Bible and they believe in God other than Kim dictators. So there is no freedom of religion in North Korea, especially goes after Christianity because you know when people re reading a Bible, they are going to realize that Kim's copied the Bible, and Kim Il Sung made himself God, and he made Kim Jong Il his son, Jesus Christ. Number six, it's a you can never turn off the radio the government gave to you. Every household in North Korea have to have this radio that comes from the government. It's exactly 1984 by George Orwell. This radio cannot be turned off. It tells you what to do. It bombards you with the government propaganda. Thankfully, we don't have a 24 hours electricity. So this thing goes off, but the electricity comes on. The first thing goes off is a, this radio that tells you about the you know, verses of the Kim Sad and how brainwashing people, how they have to become the better revolutionary, how they we have to sincerely hate hate our sworn enemies that is like American bastards. Number seven is taking picture of daily life of North Koreans. So if you go to North Korea as a tourist and you cannot go outside of your tour group and guide and just take pictures around the country because there are more than 40% of North Korean population guys making two to three dollars a month for entire four people family it's it's guilty like the water that i'm drinking right now well, one bottle is like two to three dollars guys and north korean four people family entire that like 120 hours working hour a week they make two to three dollars north korea's medical doctor salary is less than one dollar for a month in this poverty that you cannot even fathom how poor that life would be if you have to live off two to three dollars with four people in the family because of that North Korean regime is desperately trying to control that information and that is why no tourists can go to North Korea without guys and they cannot just go take pictures around because Kim Jong-un is his life depending on it, hiding this brutality that is happening inside North Korea the last one is travel is illegal for North Korean people. Leaving a country is a treason for North Korean people. That is why when North Koreans escape, we are defectors, we are not refugees. North Korea made it illegal for people to travel around even within North Korea. You have no tr even freedom to go next town without government permit. 
and that's how governments strictly controls everybody in the town. I really hope that today's video helped you to understand what it looks like when individuals lose their freedom to bad, bad, horrible government. And how much we have in this freedom and how much we have things we are taking for granted. So thank you guys for watching this video. Please make sure that hit that like button and share this video to anybody you know so the world really knows what life looks like under North Korea's oppression. And I wish you happy holidays and looking forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you guys.